Hey everyone, I'm back with another video today, and this time we're going to be playing Rhinos. So, uh, starting off with the deck tech, I did uh, look around a bunch of different lists. There's a few different versions of Rhinos floating around. Some of them are the teamer colors that are going to play Blood Moon. Um, some of them are four or five colors because they're playing Leyline Binding. Um, I actually found this list with um, that... Uh, I've seen put up some good results. Uh, it's, you know, finished in the top 16 in a few challenges um, and things like that. And uh, this player plays a lot of different uh, versions of Rhinos, but I've seen uh, quite frequently he goes with a four sign of Draco and four Leyline Binding. So me being uh, primarily a zoo player, I love Scion of Draco. So I figured, hey, why don't I play a version of Rhinos that's running Scion? So this version, we're not running Blood Moon. Instead, we're going to take advantage of some of the domain mechanics with Binding and Scion. And the rest of the deck is pretty stock for what we see uh, for Crashing Footfalls. You know, we've got our Cascaders with Charlotte's Agent, as well as Violent Outburst. And then we've got a one of Ardent Plea. That's just to give us some more redundancy with uh, the Cascade spells. Uh, also, it can be used to pitch to Force Negation. Uh, we've got two Teferi main deck. I'm guessing that's, uh, you know, when you're playing against decks with Permission. Um, also, again, like Cascade Mirrors, things like that. Um, also good, again, just another blue card to pitch to uh force of negation we've got four fire ice uh, great to pitch to fury or force and then we've got two dead gone um so we're basically trying to cascade in our footfalls we got some uh, we got four fury uh, a bunch of other cards to tempo out our opponent uh looking at our mana base again we're domain mana base centered around xanders and indotha triomes uh, we do have besaju and we've got the one of gemstone caverns uh looking at the sideboard we've got the second gemstone caverns in the sideboard that's something you're going to bring in on the draw uh, to try to give you a higher chance of having it in the opener. We've got uh, four Mystical Disputes. It's going to be against any kind of permission. We've got four Endurances. That's our Graveyard Heat. we got four Force of Vigor. That's going to be our uh, Artifact and Enchantment Heat. And then we've got two Kasali Ambusher. Again, this is uh, net decked uh, from a list that put up, uh, I think it was top 16 finish in a challenge. Um, so I'm guessing this is mostly for the Ragavan decks um, that you can bring it in. Uh, you know, maybe he's only running two copies of Dead Gone, so maybe that's why he wanted two more answers. Uh, to those sorts of decks, uh, especially on the draw. And um, that's uh, pretty much 60 cards. So I'm hoping this will be a fun league. It should be a pretty fast league. Uh, this is well known for being a uh, pretty fast deck. So um, if you enjoy this kind of content, you can support the channel by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you guys for round one. Okay, starting out game one, I'm on the play. Uh, this is a one lander. It seems a little risky to keep a one lander. We do have some good interaction here, but I think I'm going to try to get a two lander here. We also have no cascade spell, which is kind of awkward. Uh, okay, this is also one lander. Mm, I do have a cascade spell. I, I think I gotta, I think I have to have two lands for this deck. I don't know. Could be wrong. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna keep this. Uh, let's bin Scion and maybe an Ardent Plea. I'm trying to think what I have. So blue, red, green. Yeah, let's bin, bin an Ardent Plea because I don't have white mana right now. It could bin the second Scion, but, um, this is obviously not a great hand, which plays Steam Vents tapped. Um, but hopefully we can draw into more action. I feel, you know, we'll see what my opponent's on. Hopefully it's not a super fast deck. Just need a third land to get our Cascade spells going. Okay, this is a fast deck. Uh, so we might just lose. <laughs> do you get a second land? Um, can't really do anything, though. So mm, I guess we have to destroy the amulet. I guess that's what we have. we can do. So we probably need to get a... Hmm. So I guess we'll just get a green blue. Um, or we can get green white. Let's get a temple garden. And let's just besage it now. And hope this uh hopefully this can slow down the opponent enough and they don't just have like a second amulet here. Okay, so we need some help here. Some lands, hopefully. A land. Then we can jam shardless. Okay, that's good for me. So you can make two land drops this turn. Maybe he's just going to double uh, bounce land here. Try to ramp up. 
Okay. Interesting. Maybe he's got a um Okay. Ramp with some growth chamber. Okay, play Grazer. Play make another land drop. So he'll have enough for Titan on turn three still. Which is uh pretty crazy. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we get an Arden plea, but uh, we don't have lands to cast anything. We don't have five colors, so I, I don't think we're winning this game. I mean, he's still, even through the amulet, he still managed, is going to manage to get a, right, two, three, four, five. If he has one more land, he'll manage to get a turn three Titan, even through all that. Looks like he does. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's just sometimes the way it goes with this deck, you kill the amulet and they still get the Titan down turn three. Um, I don't know that I have much... I don't really have answers for that, I don't think. I don't think I'm winning this game. So far, I haven't played any Cascaders, so... I guess I could double block the Titan, but... Hmm. There's argument just to scoop after, like, maybe take a draw step and scoop, and he won't exactly realize what I'm on. So far, I've played four colors in Beseju, but he probably knows some Rhinos. So I guess a binding could save me. Could bind the Titan. Okay. Might just uh, concede this game. <laughs> okay. So did not get there against Titan. Despite destroying their amulet, they still got a Titan down turn three. So unfortunately, we have something very important for this matchup, which is Force of Vigor. Um, which is probably not great. I guess Dead Gone's not great. Um... I don't. I, I think Fury is fine. Uh, I don't. I'm just gonna take out the Teferis. I think they're just gonna be too slow to do anything useful. So let's try that out. Okay. I think this hand's fine. Um. Let's see. I probably want to get a Triome turn one because I don't have much else going on. So I'm trying to remember what the Triomes are. I think I can get a. One's a Xander's. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. I think I can get the Endatha maybe and get five types with Steam Vents here. So we'll probably ice his land and upkeep. Hopefully he doesn't just have another amulet. Okay, well, that's famous last words. So this is okay. So we get five types with steam vents here with this. Okay, that's not very helpful. Um, so I'm trying to think like the order to do this because I guess I have to upkeep just tap his forest, but he's still gonna get. Two mana out of the thing. I guess that's what I have to do. Otherwise, I wait for main phase, then he'll just uh, be able to get a lot of mana. I, th I think that's what I'm supposed to do here. Um, we could not shock that. No, we're just talking steam as. I guess we'll upkeep tap the forest. Or upkeep ice the forest. Okay, force, it's not that helpful. Okay, goes Ursa Saga. Second amulet, <laughs> Jesus, come on, man. Are you serious? Okay, well, we can get Rhinos coming down, but we can't do much else, and we've drawn a few lands, which doesn't really help. So I, I don't think we're winning this game. I mean, I guess... Uh, oh, I, I actually... Sorry, that was a punt. I should have held on to... I should have played a second blue source, and then I could have forced something here if he went, like, packed. So that was actually a punt, which I just chalk up to not knowing the deck. <laughs> but, I mean, he's got two amulets down. Like, I don't think we're winning this game. I need a force of vigor. 
and I did not have it. So maybe I was supposed to not keep a hand like this and try to dig for Force of Vigor. Because he'll have three amulets next turn. He can probably just, he might be able to just, uh, you know, play a giant titan this turn anyway with two amulets in play. Yeah, so I guess I'll feel really bad if he just goes Summoner's Pact here. And, um, okay, he plays Clarier West, all right. Grazer, so now he's probably going to do all this stuff. Yep, get four more mana from Boros Garrison. And I'll give him six mana. He doesn't have green yet, though. So, I mean, he's got, like, Dryad or something. He needs a green mana source. I believe he already made a land drop this turn. Yeah, so he is transmuting for Summoner's Pack. So now, all right, yeah, if I had played a different land, I could have uh, packed at this. But again, like I'm not really applying any pressure, so I don't know that forcing this would have accomplished much. Okay. I am surprised by this one. I guess he knows I'm Rhinos. Really need a force of vigor off the top. Please. <laughs> okay, it's not quite what I wanted. Don't think this game's going to go long, but you know, what else we got to do? So now I do have force up. So is he going to get a third amulet? E on zero. I don't think he can get that with Saga. I guess we'll find out. Exhibition map. He doesn't have double forest yet. He will get a forest. I guess he'll get a something. Get him another bounce land. Now he has all the force he needs, so let's hope he tries to go packed here, but I doubt he will. Probably just has Titan in hand. Okay, can't force that. Okay, million more mana. Yeah, I really, really would have liked to see uh, Force of Vigor. I, maybe I was supposed to mulligan this hand. And maybe this is a matchup where you just need the the hate. But we did have a lot of hate. Oh, okay. Mm, I'm just got a basic island. Don't want to get Valakuted to death here. Could have a second one, but... Guess now you can put fake counters on things. Kind of confused by this move. Is he going to wipe his own amulets? Like, that doesn't seem great. Do you think I was a different deck? I don't think so. Maybe that's the, maybe this is a thing you do. I don't know. <laughs> it's a thing you do against uh, rhinos. Oh, yes. Love to see him just burn all that mana. Okay. Okay, we got a chance here. Okay, I can use this to tap his forest again. No, I guess mm, I can do it. Use it to do something. First, we'll attack.
So the question is, I guess, do I tap his, I guess I tap this in upkeep. I think that's my best move here. And maybe I just keep Xander's Lounge to cycle. I guess I need to shock to do that. Uh, I should probably just, yeah, okay, sure. The other option could be to cycle now in case I get a force and then maybe I hold up force instead. I think what else I could get that could be useful. Binding could be useful. Okay, let's just cycle it now. So we want to make sure we keep up. Uh, double. No, okay, now we have one of each. Okay, let's do this. Cycle this now. Okay, I got shardless. All right. So upkeep will ice his Boros Garrison, which is not exactly what we need to do, but. Yeah, we get a Fury, which is actually good. Hard cast it next turn if I'm still alive. Okay, he's got the Valakut. Oh, this might be good. So, I think what he would have. He needs four mana to do that. He doesn't have it. We might have gotten there. He's going to have to block with his dry this turn, so let's just do this then. Could dismember, I guess. Okay, we got there. Uh, maybe you thought it was a different deck, or maybe you do this against Rhinos. I'm very confused by this one. Because, like, why would he want to just sack his own amulets? That doesn't seem great. I wonder if he thought I was, like, prowess or... I don't know. Anyway, he knows who I am now. But that was good to win because we saw on zero of our sideboard cards. So, um, we still got there, though. Force saved us from the Summoner's Pact. So, we will uh, see if we can win game three here. Okay, we have Force of Vigor. We have a one lander though. Ugh. Uh I guess I keep. I don't know. <laughs> this might have been a mistake. The best part, if you go okay, Saga, please just go amulet. Yes. Okay, this is good for us. We do not have a fast hand. Okay, basic land. Or a land, not a basic land. <laughs> All right. Getting somewhere, maybe. And it's still not very fast. But hopefully we slow down my opponent by doing that. Okay, they have the Miko Synth. So now let's try to get a Triome that pairs somewhat with this Visaju. See if we can luck out and draw something to cast a Scion. Or let's see, what Indatha. So, Island Swamp Mountain. I can't cast Binding. I can't cast Binding with either of these, actually. Right, because I only have three types instead of four types. All right, whatever. I guess we'll just get this then. This is awkward. Okay, got a forest. This is good. So, we could try to wait until he copy. He tries to copy something, or we could just uh, Stone Random now. I don't think Stone Random now. Makes a lot of sense. I think we wait. Right, if he plays something else, we'll see what he plays. Okay, it's in a growth chamber. I 
I could just sage you this. I don't know if that's smart, though. Hmm. I feel like it's maybe not. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to tempo him out until we uh, draw into some action. That's fine. Okay, we draw through, through a third land. Now we can cast our Scion. Okay, and we drew Ardent Plea, which we can cast if we get... Let's see, what do we need? We need white. So let me just make sure I have the right types here. The other option could be to play a Scion and hold up Leyline Binding, but I think we're still another turn away from it, like actually needing Leyline Binding. Um... We do need white, so maybe Temple Garden. I think we'll just get some rhinos on the board. Let's see if he has anything. Plays Dryad. Two mana. Plays Dryad. Okay, so we can bind his Dryad. Okay, we could actually Fury Pitch Fury and hold on to the Binding. I think I like that better. Back for 8, Player Scion. We potentially have Lethal next turn. Got binding in case he tries to play anything else. Turns out Force of Vigor when uh, your opponent starts out with. Ursa Saga into Amulet is pretty good. The rest was just... We'll see if he... Okay, he conceded, so we got there. Despite, uh, you know, having not doing anything for the first, like, four turns, we did enough to disrupt him and, uh, you know, really just screwed up his whole game plan. And then now we, ha we even had Binding that we didn't end up having to use, so nice uh, win against Amulet for game one. I'll see you guys for round two. Okay, round two looks like I'm on the play. Uh, this is a one lander with a lot of cascade spells, nothing else. So I think I'm going to try to get two lands here. Okay, this is better. Keep, let's put a Scion back. And um, we'll go Misty Rainforest turn one. Let's see uh, what my opponent's on. Probably fetch a Triome here. Unfortunately, we don't have... Unless we get second fetch land, we can't cast Scion, but that's okay. So I think we won Endatha. Okay. Can't do anything. In the land waiting room. 
And it's also in the land waiting room. Probably Murktai just going to hold up nothing. Um, I don't think we jam a Shardless in a, a clear counterspell. I think we can... We could try jamming a Scion in a counterspell. Not the worst idea. And we... Um, Oh, we don't have red. Hmm. Hmm. That is an issue. We don't have double blue for force either. Hmm. Hmm. If I jam a shard list into clear counter spell, I just wait. I think we should wait. Opponent's not going to apply any pressure. That's okay. We will wait. Maybe yeah, they try to jam Blood Moon here, and I'll have to force it. Oh, they're just dredge. Um, could force the gaze. Nah, that's stupid. I'll see if he plays a land and does another spell, and I might have to force it. Three gazes. Wow. Oh, he's Lotus Field. Okay, I'm confused now. Okay, that's fine. Would like. Well, we'll just jam it anyway. Might have uh, let him ramp too much. I think he's got some kind of combo stuff going on. But we'll see. Next turn, we can go double Scion. Eww. You can get a few mana here. Is this like a Blood Sun deck or something? I'm not sure what he's trying to do with other worldly gaze in the Lotus Field. It's actually crazy though. He surveilled three and he had three other worldly gazes up. Oh, he's just total storm. Why do I always play the weirdest decks? Am I just dead now? Yes, apparently. Yep, so I, I think I'm just dead this turn. I always play, like, without a doubt, I play the weirdest fucking decks when I try new things. <laughs> Again, unfortunately, we didn't have another blue card, and I, I don't think it was... So he's gonna have a million cards. I guess he's just gonna keep doing. I'm not sure his win con is it. Uh, is he just trying to get a lot of? I haven't played against this deck very often. Is he just have like grape shot or something? He's just trying to get the storm count up. Really wish I had another blue card. I think Fury is going to be bad in this matchup. I just deal until end step. If I live. Let him click through his combo thing. Um. So yeah, obviously I should just jammed at turn two. I didn't know what he was trying to do. So. But maybe I was playing too scared. Like he would have been at significantly less health to be to be able to dig deeper. But I wouldn't have had force up anyway, so. I guess I would have had force up. If I jammed at Shardless turn two when I had the chance, then I could have held up force and probably won the game because I would have just counted the first twiddle and he would have lost. So that's, you know. But again, it looked like he was just holding up counterspell, so. So I guess we'll bring in um I don't know, I guess we'll be on the play, so I don't know what we'll even bring in. We'll take out the Furies. I don't know what's worth bringing in. <laughs> Missile of Speed, I guess. Yeah, probably dispute, right? For 
twiddle and stuff like that. So we'll just take out the Furies for Dispute. I don't know if Endurance... I want to see what his win con is, but I'm pretty sure it's just... Oh, unless he's going to Thassa's Oracle, and I guess you can Endurance... I could bring in Endurance. He's got, like, Pact. He's got, like... He's got a lot of blue spells. I guess his win con is... I guess Breach is enabling a lot. I could just bring in Endurance, maybe. Just to mix this card. Like maybe he just has Thassa's Oracle and that he's just trying to get zero cards in his graveyard. If that's his win con, then I'm just gonna bring in endurance. And Storms had counts at 18, so. So yeah, he got the you know the turn four win, but I did nothing, so again, I didn't have any, I didn't have a great hand. Couldn't I had a clunky mana. Maybe it's why people don't play Scion as much. I also don't know if I've actually had a hand that's had like two lands to start out. Maybe this one did, but it had two basics. Yeah, so it's just Grape Shot. So. Okay. Well, obviously, like, he got me, but I didn't know what the <laughs> deck was trying to do. So it should be pretty straightforward. I think I'll just bring the Disputes, and I'll just stop all his blue nonsense I don't know that endurance is that useful here oops uh no I just said what I was gonna do and then so uh I mean like none of these are useful <laughs> there's a lot of cards that are are pretty much dead so uh endurance maybe okay okay see Tries to go breach or something. Like binding is pretty bad too. Just something like this. I don't know. Teferi is also kind of useless. Um. Mm. Okay, sure. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I guess he could actually play like a DRC, and then like maybe this is useful, but. I don't know, we'll just do this. At least Teferi can pitch to Dispute. Or not Dispute, uh, Force Negation. Okay, uh, this hand's better, so we're just going to keep it. Unfortunately, two footfalls in hand is not exactly what I see. Let's hope I just don't draw anymore. I think of what the, let's see, so the Triome. So I can get green-white. I might need blue next turn, though. I think if it makes sense to get green, blue, or green, white right now. Get, get green, white to start out. I don't think I'll dispute if he just does other worldly gaze here. I mean, it'll stop him from surveilling three, which I guess is relevant, but I guess it's a problem if he does nothing next turn. I could just dispute this. Maybe that's pretty bad, though. He'll just do it next turn, but... Ugh. Ugh. I don't, <laughs> I don't know enough about this deck. Going for it. Go ahead, flash it back next turn. Spend your turn flashing it back. Okay, let's uh hope for a land. Second bobble. Gonna shuffle that one away. Didn't like what he saw. 
Guess he's just looking for his combo pieces. Okay. Again, don't really care. Like a land. Oh, I guess I could uh, dispute this again. Doesn't seem to make sense, though. So he does have Thoughts as Oracle also as a win con. So I guess Endurance would have been smart instead of maybe Teferi. Okay. Um, I wonder if he brings in like Flusterstorm or something. I guess that would really be sad for me. I guess we'll find out, huh? Maybe I should have just done this last turn when he was tapped out. He could have Fluster Storm, and I'll look like an idiot. That's not how you tap. No Fluster Storm, please. Okay, we're good. I don't think I need more Rhinos. I'm going to just bind this DRC so it can't keep getting surreal triggers. And then I don't Let's see what he does here. Eight. Yeah. Draw cards with Bobble. It's fine, I think. Yeah. Not sure what he would be looking for. Is thinking about something. I think we'll do endurance instead of Teferi. Post board. Still thinking about this. So he's going to try it. No, he can't double void snare. I guess you'd have a second Void Snare in hand. And I have like a million Rhinos come down. Maybe I wasn't supposed to Void Snare that and just wait for the Twiddle. Or sorry, I wasn't supposed to counter that. Sorry for that. Because now I have a million Rhinos anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, and he's not dead yet. I guess I'll be really sad if he just wins next turn and I look like an idiot. So... Oh, wait a minute. Let's think about this for a second. Oh, I see. That was stupid. I should have had Arden Plea. Obviously, I would have done more damage to him. So, I think maybe I was supposed to just hold Dispute. Um, I don't think playing this Arden Plea is going to do anything. So, I guess I'll be really sad if he just wins here. Okay. I guess it's bad. Do I have another Rhinos coming down? I think I do. Yeah, so I guess this is bad for me.
Yeah, because now you can just clear my whole board. Okay. I think I have one set left. We'll find out, huh? I had rhinos. That'd be sad. No, last set. <laughs> okay, I got God. I needed to play the land first. Forgot about Spell Pierce. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, this that that's on me. Right? Because it's on turn six. I could have played the land and that would have won the game. Okay. Well, you know, you're playing with a new deck. Like, obviously, I should have just known to play around Spell Pierce. I don't know what his deck's actually doing now. I guess he's going to try to do the combo thing. So it's fine because I have like Scion, Fury. Like, I have a lot of draws. But yeah, that was that was so bad. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Yep. Yep. Had it in hand the whole time. Yeah, that's fr frustrating. It's now we might we might lose this uh, match because I didn't just play around Spell Pierce when I easily could have. And he's just going to keep building his combo. Of course, he doesn't have many cards in hand, so... Um, he's got this thing. What does this actually do? Yeah. Okay. So he could still be, again, building for his combo. I have, like, so many draws that would be good. And, nah, that is not one of them, though. Oh, man. He could have been winning. Shame on me for not playing around Spell Pierce. So I might just be dead now. Depending on what he's got in hand. He's got one card in hand. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So I think the only way he had that is he had to draw that naturally. He had to ha draw Lotus Field and Underworld Breach. He had like one, I think he had one card in hand. So I guess he had one of the two. But I guess he just wins this turn. So it was, that was fun. So he can, he's got Twiddle in the graveyard. Yep. So we lost to Twiddle Storm uh, because I didn't play a land for Spell Pierce. So that's frustrating. Maybe he'll, like, uh, brick? I'm not sure. He doesn't have a lot of life to pay. So he's going to mill his whole library, I guess, and then flashback. That's his oracle. So I guess he can keep doing that. I guess that's how I lose here. Man, that's so frustrating. I was feeling so good after that amulet win. Maybe he fizzles, but I'm assuming not. He can just keep tome scouring. Okay, unfortunately, I'm I'm really annoyed at myself for that and then losing to a fucking junk combo deck um, just because I didn't <laughs> play a land first to play around Spell Pierce because I didn't know what he would board in. So I guess lessons learned, you know, always play your land to play around Spell Pierce. But um, 
you know, fortunately we, I was hoping we could maybe get a trophy today or something. Um, but, uh, already, you know, we're one in one. So see you guys for round three. Okay. I think we keep this cause I have a jumpstone cavern. So I think that you're supposed to do that. Exile card from my hand. Footfalls, maybe? Although my only turn one play is to suspend a footfalls. Binding? Exile binding. Rogren Biome. Some kind of control. Because I can only do that as a sorcery. Guess I could get a Triome here. I think, yeah, sure. I guess you can also say, obviously, I was, like, too aggressive. Like, I should have probably just held the disputes for stuff that matters instead of just... But I had two of them, so my thought was... You know, I can save the second one for... I can use the first one to kind of, like, tempo him out, send him back a turn. Um, But maybe I should have just waited for the twiddles or something. So he obviously... He probably just has Counterspell. I could just jam into a Counterspell. It's not the worst idea. Uh, he might just be Creativity also. Um, yeah, this one. Uh, this one. Um, uh, am I supposed to just jam in a counter spell? I don't know. <laughs> sure. Can't play scared. It's not how I do this. Need a forest. Okay. Go ahead, use your counter spell. Yeah, he didn't have a counter spell, so that's why we do that. Is he creativity? I don't think so with Flood Strand. It's just got to be like maybe the wall deck or something. And maybe he's got like Solitude, Ephemerate, probably. Probably just waiting to blow me out. But again, I don't think you play around. I think you just jam it. Looks like that might be what he has. Or binding on one of these. Okay. I also have a binding, but unfortunately it'll kill my rhino. To parry, maybe? Bounce another rhino, that's a pretty good turn for him, but I can kill this fairy. Risen Reef. Oh, he's just elementals. Okay. Pretty good for him, though. Um, let's see, do I want to fire? Uh, got, a lot of, got a lot of options here. I don't think I want to pitch fury. I think I want to kill this Risen Reef and then hold up binding. And swing in for a bunch. I guess I don't need to do this pre-combat, but I'm going to just do it now. I think this is better than icing. I just want... I don't know, maybe it's not. Got another land, I can hard cast Fury next turn. So I'm thinking he's going to try to go with an Omnath here. So there could have been an argument to Ice, but he could have still play the Omnath. I think I just need to kill that Risen Reef. It's just going to get too much value from it. It's looking like an Omnath. Okay. Looking like a Solitude. Um, let's see, I have, I mean, another blue source. 
green blue maybe no i need double red for fury let's not uh get too cute here i guess i have double red already okay i guess i could have gotten anything feeling the solitude show me some rhinos guess one more turn hmm fire's interesting Could try to ice him now. That doesn't really accomplish much, though. Uh, I guess I'll probably just... Hmm, I don't know. I guess it's bad if I bind to Solitude. Could just fire it. That's what I might do. But maybe ice is more valuable. Yep. Could bind in response, but that's bad if he since he plays binding. So I think I'll just uh, fire this so he can't gain any life. Maybe that's not correct though. I think I have more rhinos coming down next turn. Again, we've got this binding for an Omnath trigger. Let's see what, what else we got going on here. Okay, he gets his Fury. He's got another solid dude. I got enough for. Let's see if he has another solid dude. Like he does. Do I just let him trade here? He's going to play a, what, a Fury next turn? Guess I could have. No, nah, I think I just hard cast Fury this turn. That's fine. He'll play his own Fury, then I'll bind it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm playing this game. Like, great. He's, just, like, out of cards, though. He's got two cards left. Can't be a third Solitude. Seems unlikely. It's possible, I guess. I guess I'm tapped out now, so if he goes, like, Omnath, I'm going to look really stupid. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what I expected. I guess his last two cards are. Oh, is he just have ephemerate? Is he just gonna blow me out right now? But he must have binding or something. We'll find out. Guess not. So he's gonna ephemerate it or something. <laughs> are you kidding me dude okay so he's just had two solitudes two bindings and a fury okay so i guess now he's just blowing me out yeah that was cool i guess that's why he did that so i mean i don't know what else he could have had that could have gotten him there like i i guess i was supposed to not play it like that like i don't really know i've kind of run out of gas though
Okay. How many more bindings does he have? Third Solitude. No, Second Fury, sorry. <laughs> Damn, dude. It's, just a nice, it's nice to just draw what you need, right? I mean, unless he's just been sitting on these, but I don't think so. It's not what I needed. All right, we, we're probably going to lose this game. It's turn eight. Unfortunately, we couldn't get there. Probably could have played it better if I knew how to play this deck, but... What's this? Omnath now? Plus... Yeah, Omnath plus Fetch Land. Oh. Yeah, he got there with the two Solitudes, two Bindings, two Furies. Managed to... Uh... Yeah, I might just concede now. I'm not, I, I'm not winning this game. I mean, I, I can try to play through it, I guess. Yeah, that's what did it. Like, it helps to have all the best cards in your deck in the top, uh, you know, 20 for the matchup. I don't know what we bring in for this. I guess dispute to for Omnath. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. I'm not going to play through this. Okay, well, tough loss there. Um, I, You know, there's probably a way for me to play it better. I just don't know. Really... How to do that? Um, spring the disputes. Um, let's see. I guess dead is good. It's a fairy good. He doesn't really seem to be on the ephemerate game plan. He's got a lot of ETB, so I feel like I don't want to bounce things. Um, is force negation bad? Yes, probably right because he doesn't seem to. I guess he has binding, but something like this. He has a lot of creatures. I guess he'll probably just bring in Teferi, so Dispute's good, too. So maybe I'm supposed to keep the Force Negation in and maybe trim on something else. Maybe trim the Bindings, because he has Binding, and Binding against a deck with all ETBs isn't that great. We'll buy that for a dollar. Um, I guess we keep this. So we can get turn one triome of some sorts. He didn't seem to be on the ephemerate game plan. Hmm. I guess I'm supposed to bring an artifact hate or something. Because I have, like, literally nothing. I got I <laughs> have the bindings. Yeah, so. Um, I think I would want to do this. Doth, maybe. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to board differently. I forgot people bring in Chalice. I haven't seen Chalice very much, though. I thought it kind of fell off a lot. So I guess we'll just ice this Triome and upkeep and then hopefully draw into stuff. Uh, what do we want? Green. So we have blue in hand, so we just need red. So. I just gonna know what I'm doing. It's okay. So unfortunately, we only have, like, no blue source. Uh, I looked at this Triome, and I was like, hey, it looks like it's got some islands there. It fucking doesn't, so that was a huge punt. It's probably going to lose me the game. Okay, that was fun. Uh, yeah, so I think I should have just played a basic island there, I guess. Save me the life total, too. Fortunately, he doesn't have anything, but I don't have anything, so... And I just, like, shocked myself for no reason. Okay, great. Now I will ice him... For real this time. 
And I don't know, I guess try to dig for an answer to Chalice. Like, <laughs> I guess I should have brought in like something, you know, kept the bindings in or something. I don't know. Oh, Beseju. That's what I needed. That's right. Um, fortunately, we don't have enough for doing both. Okay. So I guess we'll play an Omnath next turn. No, a Risen Reef next turn. I guess I could have played Shardless as a 2 2, since I have so many Shardlesses, like last turn, but I didn't have that extra Shardless, so. Would have liked to see if something else. Oh, the Nisa. Okay. I don't think he plays Counterspell. I guess I could get got by a Counterspell here. Or a dispute or something. Yep, solitude. Pretty cool card. Like I guess if he's playing dispute, I'll look really dumb right now. I don't know how these decks board against us, so. Say ju. Oh, I get, oh, never mind. You can't. Uh, sorry, I forgot. You can't stop a say ju. Another red, another red source, red blue. Start with the rhinos. Fortunately, we probably didn't apply enough pressure in this game. Because you don't want the Omnath deck to get to turn 5, and I don't have Dispute in hand. Dispute would be so good right now. But we do have Fury, so... But he's probably going to just Solitude off Omnath. Yeah, because he can crack like a million fetches, gain a bunch of life. I can kill him on math next turn, but he's probably going to kill at least one of my Rhino tokens. I'll get Solitude here. Yep. Fury, okay. So he still has Solitude in hand. Yep. I'll just gain more life. Okay, so the question is like, do I want to pitch Fury, pitch Outburst? Could attack with both and see what he does. I'll probably try Solitude something. I mean, he'll probably block here. I think I have to do Fury Pitch Outburst, but maybe that's stupid. Maybe I should just do Fury Pitch Fury and then go Outburst or go Shardless again. I'm trying to think if it's worth attacking first. I guess I give up a Rhino token. I guess this is probably the block that's going to happen here. Wait, do I have six? Oh, actually, I could go Outburst and... Okay, I think I'm just supposed to jam it all now. So we'll kill Omnath. 
maybe unless he has like ephemerate or something i'll just be sad Back in with everything. Okay. Don't think I outburst now. I think I outburst in a turn. Just gotta make sure I don't mess this up. So I know I have a forest here. Um, I don't think I have a basic plane, so I'll have to shock again. I should have fetched last turn. So we want to make sure we keep a red source around. So I know he has Solitude in hand. He could have another Omnath. It is what it is. Looks like it. Second Omnath in top 18. Solitude. I think I just chomp this Fury if he attacks with it. He probably won't, but maybe I don't because I don't care about it. Fortunately, I should have fetched last turn and I wouldn't have had a shock here. Okay. So we got a lot of rhinos here. I think we're just supposed to swing in, I guess. Could have another solitude in hand. Would really like another fury to kill the Somnath. Or I guess even a binding. Binding wouldn't be great though, I'd rather have Fury. Oh. Thank you, deck. Could argue I should do this post combat, but yeah, yeah, I probably was supposed to do a post combat. Now nah, I just kill Omnath. So you have a third Omnath in the top twenty, it's possible. Yeah, he's gonna gain some life, and then he's gonna take like a million damage. Another Solitude, probably. Ephemerate. Binding, maybe. Binding on one of the tokens. A oh, bolt on Fury. Okay, not a bad turn for him. But now I sh okay. Now I should be in better shape as long as his three cards aren't like Omnath, <laughs> Solitude, Fury, or something like that. I mean, it's on a one turn clock. See what he's got in hand. 
Yeah, it looks like... Does he have a third Omnath? That would be sad. <laughs> Unreal. Okay, he's got the third Omnath now. It's pretty good. Does he have a second Solitude, second Fury? Okay, that's a good sign. That means he doesn't have much going on. He's going to eventually run out of Omnaths here. Okay, Ren 6 isn't that scary. I guess he gets a land back with Ren 6 and they'll gain more life. So he can gain 8 more life. I hate Omnath so much. Like, how do these, how does he just have this? How does he just have this? Top 36, three of them. I guess that's a lot of cards drawn from his deck, I guess. Like, what an annoying card. Oh, and of course he's got Solitude too. Of course. Of course, yeah, yeah. Nice. Perfect. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I literally, like, wipe his board, and then the next turn he just rebuilds it again. The same thing. Like, the same exact thing. And then I draw a land. So, like, what the what the hell? I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. I guess I should have just kept... Like, maybe I'm supposed to be mulling these hands. Like, I don't know. Like, he's just going to keep gaining life every turn if he keeps drawing because he's got the Ren 6 Omnath package. So he can gain 4 life a turn. So unless I can kill his 3rd Omnath then I'm... This is not going to go well. Maybe I was supposed to attack Ren 6 and he probably would have blocked with Solitude or something. 4th Solitude? No, 3rd uh, Fury. Or sorry, 2nd Fury. 2nd Fury, okay. Like, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's turn 8. Like, I'm just supposed to win faster, but I didn't really see the stuff I needed to see. I got lucky and saw the Beseju, but, like, I didn't have anything. I fetched the wrong lands. I could have... Uh, like, it's like, what am I supposed to do here? He's just going to keep gaining 4 life every turn. Like, I could deal with the first two Omnas. I couldn't deal with the third one. Ion doesn't really help. So, like, eventually he's got to run out of good creatures. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess he can just keep gaining eight life every turn. So, that I can't really win with that. I need to kill this Omnath, and I don't know. I, I don't think this game is winnable. I mean, okay, I'm just going to concede. Like, the opponent, I, you know, maybe you can say I just didn't play it well, but it's, like, kind of one of those things where I, what, casted... I had, like, at one point, like, three Rhinos. But, like, that's the thing with Omnath. Okay, so, unfortunately, uh, we're at one and two, so not a strong showing from the Rhinos. Um, one of them, the losses was definitely a punt. The, I don't know. We just got blown out by Omnath. I don't know if that's a favorable matchup or not. Um, I'm guessing it is probably pretty favorable. You just have to be faster than them. And I, you know, I get, I just wasn't. So uh, we brought in Dispute. Um, unfortunately, we didn't see it. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we're on round four. Um, are we on the draw? Okay, we're on the play. This is awkward. I think we mulligan this. It's also very awkward. I can ice turn two, so I guess we keep. Keep. Put a scion back. Suspend footballs, turn one. Hopefully we can get to 3-2 here. Okay. Now he's going to know what deck I'm on.
Hammer? Grief. Scam with blue and white? What the hell is this? All right, well, we might be in the junk bracket, unfortunately. The junk deck bracket, which isn't, like, great to, like... Because you want to try... You know, the deck is tuned for, like, the actual meta, not, like, one and two people playing whatever this is. Uh, some sort of three-color scam... Ephemerate scam elementals. It's going to be a long game. Luckily, we have rhinos coming down eventually. But, like, this is going to be another one where, like, ephemerate, solitude, fury is going to all be really annoying to deal with. Um, Let's see, red, blue, green. So I would need black and white. I guess we just play this. And he's going to know, obviously, I drew it. But if we want to cast a scion at any point, then we need to get black mana. And I think the only way to do that is, yep. And he's just going to take what's in my hand anyway. So the old uh, discard three cards. From uh, Ephemerate. Hmm. Okay, well, now I'm at one card. My opponent's at four. So pretty good start for them. I'm probably just going to lose this game. Very tilted. <laughs> okay, what do we need here? We need black. So Island, Swamp, Mountain. No, I think we need the other one, right? We need green, white, green, black. We got red and blue. Yeah, yeah, let's get this one. Okay. Ready for my ephemerated uh, Fury to come in, or Solitude to just wipe my board again. Seems like what he's about to do. Does he have binding in this deck? Hmm. I'm not sure what he's got. So I think our next I think our next set of rounds comes down next turn. Let's see if we can get there. Teferi, I guess, is useful for this matchup if I ever see him. Fury is not so useful. I guess it's one more turn for footfalls. Offers a trade. Does he have another ephemerate? No, he doesn't. Okay. Let's see, maybe he's just got nothing in hand. We're just, we'll see. Another grief. Fatal push. Fake out. Okay, we got there. Despite uh, our hand blown up, we drew a Shardless Agent. That's a uh, one-card you know, one combo. Well, you really need to win. Okay, uh, what do we bring in in this matchup? I don't know that I really have anything for this. Maybe one Gemstone. In like uh, I guess dead is good. Binding is good. Fury to I think fairy seems good. Maybe we trim one fury. Don't know how if they play a lot of creatures. Maybe I'm supposed to trim something else here, like a Basaju. I guess I, I, I will just try this. I don't know what Hades gonna bring in. It might just be Chalice. Okay. Got to fairy, we don't have anything else, so. Okay, this hand is much better. Mm, maybe we just pitch Scion, although I guess we'll suspend Footwall's, Footfall's turn one, so let's just pit, let's just put back Scion. I want the forces in case he tries to do some shenanigans. Let's not yield through the turn. Okay, cool. Um, probably want green, blue, and then maybe red, white. 
Maybe red. Nah, we'll, we'll just, just do it. Green, blue. Okay. Next turn, we can ice him. Let's see what he tries to do here. We also have force negation in case he tries to play like a, some chalice or some crazy thing. Okay. He's just going to do nothing. He's probably got like hollow moonlight or something. Uh, do I just play the gemstone caverns now? Seems like it might backfire on me. I'll just do it now. And then upkeep, we will tap his triumph. This time, I have the right lands in play for it. He's got planes on both of them. Mm. Tap his blue mana. I don't know if he's got what he brought in, but okay. Maybe I was supposed to bring in endurance here. Maybe he's got like a brought back thing. But I have force for that. Second gemstone is not really where you want to see. At this juncture. <laughs> um guess we just wait till the end of his turn. I don't know what he's gonna bring in. Or what he's about to play or anything like that, but we can got some options here. So we want to do we probably want to do red blue. Yeah, you will not be doing that. Yay, red, green, there's our rhinos. Does he have cluster storm or something? Oh, okay. I just see get conceded there. Just didn't want to deal with the rhinos. Okay, all right. Well, we're two and two, and let's see if we can uh, win in round five. Okay, looks like I'll be on the play for round five. Ooh, uh, I think we're supposed to keep this. Player's Andrew's Lounge. Turn two, we can go binding. Um, if we need to, Let's see what my opponent does. Ooh, murky tees. Ooh, that looks like something we'll bind. Fortunately, we can't double spell with suspending of footfalls and binding. It's going to bind now because of counter spell and spell pierce. Hmm, do they now have a second land? That would be a interesting, interesting development. Hmm, classic. Don't even have a bobble either. But. I don't have much of anything, so we are missing a land, unfortunately. Uh, I'm probably going to pitch maybe this Ardent Plea if I have to use Force. We won't be forcing that. We will force an iteration, probably. But 
It's fine. He's obviously looking for land. I'm also looking for a land. Second consider. Trying to get delirium, I guess. He needs a sorcery or a creature. Does not get it, but keeps it on top, which is interesting. Okay, let's hope I get a land, because I have a window here to play something useful. A very nice collection of shardless agents here. A very fine, the finest collection of Shardless Agents. Okay, not exactly what I want to see. Okay, turns out missing two land drops can be problematic. In the land waiting room. It doesn't have delirium somehow. In the land waiting room. Got so many rhinos I could make. Yes. Okay, let's get um I don't know, basic forest, I guess. Do I have a basic island in this deck? Probably not. Oh, I do have basic island. Uh do I want more? Probably basic forest. Ooh, I don't know. I guess I want double blue to be able to hard cast force at some point. Sure, whatever. Shardless agent. Next turn. Yeah, I don't care. He'll connive. Next turn, I can potentially. Um, could go shardless again. I could go to fairy bounce the shredder. Um, we'll see. If he tries to hold up counter spell for this one, I could just force it for when my other rhinos come in. Is he bolting the shardless or me? I think I do have to force this because so he does have delirium now, right? Instant land. Oh, he only has three types. Mm, this feels so bad to force. But like my life total is getting low. Like if he gets delirium here, he'll swing in for nine and I'll be at like two life. Seems like the worst spell to force, but how does he not have delirium right now? Oh, I guess he didn't have bobble. Unless he's maybe he's holding the bobble and he didn't want the DRCs to attack. He's gonna play Merc Tide now. No, he's fake out. He's gonna try now counter my other rhinos. Maybe I was supposed to keep. Oh, there's still one more turn away. That's annoying. Um, sure. Attack with everything. Why not? What else are we gonna do? Uh, maybe I'll just a fairy and try to bounce the shredder. Instead of trying to get more rhinos down. Seems like a better idea. See if he has counter spell. Spell pierce. Yeah, so he was too he was scared of the to fairy. I still think that was a better play. Like obviously I could have held up outburst, but like he's gonna get delirium at some point. It's still not at this point though. And I wanted to try to bounce the shredder.
Second Shredder. It's good for him. Third Shredder. Murmurk Tide. Looks like Murk Tide. Yeah. Do not know if we are winning this game. They have too many. It's, you know, its whole board is flyers, so. Would have liked the Teferi to resolve. Uh, I guess you can argue that I should have just. I mean, he's holding up the counter spell the whole time, so. But I could have gone outburst here. He might have still held up the counter spell. So now he attacks for 10. I go to 1. And then I just lose next turn. Seems like what's going to happen. Oh, I guess he can't attack with everything. So I need, like, what, a second to ferry to bounce the Merc Tide? Or bounce the Shredder, maybe? I don't know. I need something. Fury would be good, actually. Would it, though? No, not really. I don't think I'm winning this game. Uh, I am one mana short of channeling Odawara to bounce something. So I guess we just tack into it. See how it blocks. Just assumed how he was going to block. All right, uh, I'll just concede. Like, pumping the team wouldn't do anything because it'd allow him to connive. Um, so, we had a good start, but we stumbled on a, few, on a couple lands, and I think that's really what screwed us over. Plus, he ha managed to have just, like, the all-creature line, uh, which ended up being better than uh, any alternatives. Um, I guess Dispute against this deck for Shredder and Murktide. Uh, Fury seems good. Dead Gone seems fine. To fair, I don't know what I'm supposed to take out though. They'll bring in what engineer explosives, uh, blood moon potentially. Uh, is this uh, uh, maybe this is overkill? Maybe force is bad against them. Yeah, let's say force is bad against them. Let's bring the disputes. They have lost so many cheap spells and creatures and stuff. Let's just try this out. I think Teferi is still good. Okay, on the play. Hmm. Guess this is good. Kind of answer to the monkey. Suspend some football falls turn one. Um, do I want to get my basics here? Do I not really care? Because I do have stomping around. Could just get uh get a red source. Yeah, let's just do this. Probably just dead that. So let's see, this is mountain forest. So we still need a plains, which is kind of annoying to get four types. So maybe. Hmm. Shredder. Let's see, you could slam Blood Moon next turn, so to play around that, I should probably just get a basic forest. But then I can't get a white mana for binding, which is kind of annoying, and the Shredder is going to be very annoying. But if they play Blood Moon, then I just can't play another spell anyway, so I think, I think we just do this.
He'll get the knife, but that's okay. I'll get some rhinos. Could just have like Teferi turn three. Yeah, maybe I should have thought this through more, and this could have been a uh, like red white instead of red green. No, I needed the green, so it could have been an. Did I have Stomping Garden hand? No, I got a, had a Misty. It looks like so. I did fetch this, so it should have been a Temple Garden, I suppose. And then I could have gotten five types by turn two. That would have been the smarter fetch sequence here. And then I'd have all my types, and next turn still be able to cast Binding. But we're applying good pressure here, so if they just go like Blood Moon here, then they're not really getting anywhere. Because I'm just going to swing in for 10. They also didn't connive there, which is kind of interesting. It doesn't look like they're going Blood Moon. Okay, they're going Iteration after already making a land drop. It's kind of strange. Your hand is dead. Okay, there's a Spell Pierce that's dead. There's the Monkey. Yep. They can try to make the DRC 3-3. I think it's going to work that well. Okay, they didn't make the DRC 3-3. They're going to try to race. They are going to try to race. Okay. If I got a white mana source, that'd be great. So they probably have Merc Tide coming down next turn. Really having regrets of how I did this. <laughs> Give me my white mana source. Okay, Fury does not help at this time. Yeah, it'd be so good if I had a white source. Because then I could just bind like the Shredder. I guess they go to EE. I guess they're going to probably blow me out with EE. That's probably what they're doing. And I'm just like playing right into it. <laughs> oh, man. I probably shouldn't have played that, huh? Yeah, I mean, if they just go E this turn, and, like, I my Rhino's coming down next turn, and they'll just totally blow me out. That's probably what they're doing. So I probably should just held that one. But I guess you just have to hope they don't have it, but he almost certainly does. And they'll just wipe the board of six Rhino tokens. Shredder. E, -E on zero. Okay, he doesn't have ye. Really would like a white mana source or another land. So I can hard cast this Fury and kill the Shredder. Yep. What is he holding in his hand, though? Do you, he already made a land drop this turn. That he's not loot. He didn't loot for this shredder. I guess he didn't have two spells to loot away. Probably says lands. So I think with the, any kind of mana, we can do pretty well here. We had a white source. He has fluster for this, but I can pay for it. Okay. I think we just win if we pump the team here and swing in. Let's see the math here. So these would be five. So he'll block here, 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 and then he'll just be dead to outburst. But he could have spell pierce uh, where I could play it safe and like fury him right now. And then he has to block here, and then he'll still take a lot of damage. So I guess we'll just do that. I guess I'll play around Spell Pierce. 
Maybe this isn't correct, though. Okay, that's fine. You can connive for whatever you want. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do this. I... Oh, it's the second spell. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I probably should wait till after blocks and just gone for it. But he could have spell pierce. Yeah, I, I just got so punished by <laughs> not fetching a white source and then like this buy like this shredder would be gone two turns ago. And I'd be in really good shape. Not that I care about it that much. I think he's still think he can stay alive. I guess you have one removal spell left. I guess if he has Bolt or something, yeah, that's what he has. Or Heat. I guess with the Heat, he doesn't die, so maybe that's what he's about to do. Yep. So maybe it was correct to just outburst here. He has a three, but if he has like a if he has bolt in hand, then I just lose. And again, I got <laughs> this is this is the problem. This is the problem right here is I didn't fetch right. I did this needed to be a temple garden to get five types on turn two. I don't know why I, I wanted a red source because for dead gone, that's why I did that. But yep, so he's gonna dig for a bolt. Okay, we got there. He didn't have it. Hmm. Didn't seem to bring in Blood Moon, but maybe he did. Gemstone Caverns on the draw. Um, I feel like Dispute's still good. Is Teferi too slow on the draw, maybe? Do I need the Ardent Plea? Do I need Binding? Do I not need Scion? I don't know. We'll trim a Scion. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Oh, I have the Ambusher, too. Maybe it's just like too hard to cast Scion on the draw. Because you need like other stuff to like disrupt the opponent or something. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to do endurance too for a Merc type. Well, it's not that great against them though. Like it is it can turn off Delirium, so maybe that's worthwhile. And I don't know how I'm supposed to sideboard for this matchup. I probably should should know. <laughs> I, I don't know what to try. Maybe I don't need four disputes. Maybe that's too much. Maybe I'm supposed to have endurance. To just uh, make his DRC small. He's clearly on the Shredder plan. So disputes should be good. So we have Gemstone in hand. But we have literally nothing else. Do we keep this? We'll keep it. We'll do it. Uh, let's exile one of these Fire Ices. Maybe one of these bindings. Because I have like binding. Fire, Fire Ice can draw us cards. Actually, I shouldn't yield three turns. I could dead something. And I will. Fortunately, we need a land. We are in the land waiting room. That's not land. Uh, maybe I wasn't supposed to keep this. I mean, it has one land in it. But now we just lost any advantage we had from having gemstone in the first place. Yep. So I think I have 24 lands right now with gemstone. Blood Moon? Magus of the Moon. Why would you play Magus and not Blood Moon? Check this out. I got a cool card for that.
Okay, that's not exactly the land I wanted. See another Blood Moon. They just hold up counter spell or something. Okay, cool. Um, do we just jam into an obvious counter spell? Get a shardless on the board. Sure, why not? So we want. Mm -hmm. So we need what? Red, blue. This team ends. Go ahead, counter my footfalls. Okay. Still got my 2-2. Two -two. Maybe I was supposed to keep force in. I don't know. Probably just got more permission. We got so many ices here. I want to just ice him. Keep drawing cards. I don't know what he's trying to do. Maybe he's going to cast a Merc Tide, but I guess that doesn't really matter. He obviously has other pieces of permission in hand. So I think we might just start icing him to try to draw into more action. But maybe that's like stupid. Now we'll just ice him. Okay. Okay. You have two cards in hand. One of them's probably Merc Tide that uh, I don't really care that much about. Okay, DRC. Still obviously holding up counter spell. Mm, should I bind this DRC now? No, I don't care about it. Suspend a foot falls. I think I will. I'm not sure. No. Maybe I'm supposed to like play this more aggressively. up your counter spells that's fine you could have another counter spell in hand possible I shouldn't let him connive. That was probably a mistake. Spell Pierce. Okay, so he's out of counter spells, so. And we will jam our plea next turn. If we get another land, we can double spell. And maybe just uh, fire his. Well, now we can't fire it, but we can ice it if we get another land.
Counts, counts as another land. Oh no! No, I punted. Alright, let's flip, flip the mana. Wait, wait. Okay, I, no, I didn't realize it was legendary. Alright, whatever. So I could have floated the mana for one. Yeah, yeah, that was a huge pun. Uh, I could have floated the mana and then done both and then iced that next turn. Hmm. Hmm, noted. Wait, how did he get a card in hand? Oh, he drew it from Bobble. I swear if he just drew a misstep or a spell pierce, I'm going to be so pissed. Okay, he didn't. Okay, so I'm in okay shape, but obviously it would be better shape if I didn't misplay so much. <laughs> so I could just ice that, draw a card next turn. He wouldn't get in for any damage. Hopefully he just has like nothing in hand. Maybe he plays like Murktide or something stupid. Or he says nothing. Give me my rhinos. Okay, Fury is interesting, but not going to be used right now. There's an argument, I guess, to just... No, I can't fire the DRC, never mind. <laughs> Eight. Okay, this time we will upkeep ice. Okay, dispute is strong. Got to draw a card here, right? Yeah. Pretty much gonna dispute whatever he tries to play. Can't dispute that, unfortunately. So he's really like grass match draws here. A dash and pick up a creature from my deck, I guess, but I don't really have any two mana creatures. Uh, is he looking for like an ice or something? I'm not sure what he's doing. Or is he just gonna like blood moon me right now? Maybe. Smart tide. Maybe he's got a spell pierce. That's why he did that. Guess he could just still have a removal spell here. Are those rhinos not? When did I suspend them? Oh, they got one more turn on them. I guess it wasn't until late. All right, I think we just hold up dispute for the hard counter. Just attack with all. Obviously, sitting on like on holy heat, maybe. Oh, or it's just over. Okay, it's just over. Oh, I said GG. Okay, we got there against Murktide. Not the cleanest playing. Not the cleanest sideboarding. We ended up with a three-two. Um. Obviously, I'm kind of learning this deck. Uh, it's not a deck I normally play. This was my first time playing it. So, um, uh, you know, you, you saw some misplays with mana sequencing. You probably just saw some misplays with like sideboarding, with like how to approach matchups, like mulligan hands I kept, stuff like that, which is, you know, to be expected uh, just when you're jamming a new deck. But hopefully you guys still found it kind of entertaining. In terms of the list, um, you know, Scion... Uh, I wanted Scion to be good. I think it's just like I think it's just clunky, a bit clunky running Scion in a deck that also runs Gemstone Caverns. That's like the reality of it. Like there are too many times where like you want Scion, you want to play Scion, but you just can't get the domain with uh it, and it might honestly be like I have to count the number of fetches here. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's twelve fetches, which is not that different than what we were on the domain list. But we're only on twenty-one lands there, and we have two actual lands here. So it just felt like sometimes it was hard to get 
you know, you want to be able to get full domain and play turn tune Scion, but like you can't really do it. So other times Scion was good like later in the game. So maybe there's an argument to only run like three of him since like you don't need him in the opener as much. Um, but it did definitely win me a game against um, was that Amulet Titan when it was just nice to be able to play another threat um, when I didn't have a Cascade spell. So in that way, like Scion can be good because he's guaranteed 4-4 four, four flyer. It's hard to block. Um, overall, uh, Binding was fine. Um, I don't know that I cast it that much, but a Teferi in the main deck, again, I'm not sure how, how I feel about that. I think if you're playing against a lot of Cascade, it could be good. Um, but the games I played, it seems like people... Uh, you know, even against Merc Tide, it seems like Teferi was like questionably good. I mean, he ended up getting countered, but um, there's less permission than I was expecting. Um, but anyway, uh, overall, like, yeah, it's Rhinos. You know, they do Rhino stuff. It's a, it seems like a pretty straightforward deck to play. Obviously, I could have played it better, so it's certainly like sequencing does matter. Um, but I will say you do get kind of a lot of uh, easy wins with like just tempo plays and just like, you know, turn three, turn two tempo play and then turn three crashing footfalls. And, you know, your opponent can't deal with 10 damage swinging through um anyway uh so if you guys uh, like this kind of content you can like and subscribe and um uh i normally play domain zoo videos so if you want to see my most recent league with a domain zoo list um you can check that out here and uh if you want to see me playing some other decks in modern which i i do occasionally i've played uh uh burn and i've played living end um you can check out my playlist. That's just me playing some modern decks uh, to kind of get a feel for uh, different decks other than my main deck. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.